<laughs> All right. I'm ben Mankiewicz, Jay Guger, John Irola, Anna Kasparian. I will be yelling throughout the day. I was eating breakfast with my kids this morning before I went to go vote. And they are both so excited at the idea that a girl could be present. The idea of Donald Trump beating the person who is could be the first female president. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It doesn't get any worse than that's that. Right, that's right. And as I was waiting in line, there were two older white guys. They they're behind me and in the span of 5 minutes, they badmouth Latinos loudly and very transparently. Badmouth Latinos, Muslims and black people, okay? And I just couldn't take it anymore. And I just turned around and I told them to shut the F up. We wouldn't have experienced that before. Like that kind of open That's right. hatred, where you feel emboldened enough to talk like that about three groups of people in the country that are different from you. And and it just, it scares me. I don't want to live in a country like that. Yeah. There was only two guys we'd ever banned in TYT history, and one of them was Donald Trump, way before he ran this time around. Yeah. And he broke us on that, to be fair. Look, this election is over, okay? Mm -hmm. Trump cannot win. He can't win for a number of reasons. I mean, putting aside his uh, xenophobia, racism, sexism, and all that, that, you know, gets uh, Latinos and other groups to vote in large numbers. He's incompetent. I mean, in terms of the uh, uh, the popular vote, would be always always going to be kind of close, but the electoral vote won't be close at all. I think he's going to win by. Well, I think Hillary will have 320 electoral votes when it's all said and done, plus or minus five. Um, so I never bought into your fear mongering. <laughs> <laughs> Ida Rodriguez joins us. Yes, you got a Latina. You yeah. have to today. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, it turns out. Uh, you guys uh, might make all the difference. <laughs> I'm an anchor baby. I want you to tell me specifically why you don't like Hillary, and the reality of it is, is that you don't like her because she has a vagina. By the way, okay, now I'm going to keep it super real. She she chose to not come on this show. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's not like we didn't ask, uh -oh. right? And we asked over and over, and you they voted for that. And they not only that, <laughs> but but that, but that's part of it, Jimmy. You're a cuck. <laughs> well, one time I was testing a bowling ball, uh, and as I kind of scooped it back, uh, there was a child behind me, <gasps> and it hit him in the face. Uh, wow! So we actually have some actual election results. Yeah, from Indiana? From three states, Indiana, New Let's Hampshire, and Kentucky, all with uh, less than 1% of precincts reporting, so they're a little meaningless. Here comes but, uh, burning. But um, uh, they're all bad news. <laughs> Let's start with Kentucky because we don't care. Oh, Seventy-three twenty-five Trump. Okay, have Kentucky. Who cares? Second okay. one we don't no, care we about. In Indiana. Don't care. Sixty-nine okay. twenty-eight. Uh, New Hampshire again. Uh, this is important. This is an important one. Uh, less than one percent. I'm sorry, that one actually not less than one percent. That one percent. One percent of the precincts in fifty-three forty-one. Uh -oh. <laughs> Disaster. Okay, the mood has Disaster. immediately changed. <laughs> and in fact, and Trump is now taking the lead. He's taking the lead. <laughs> in, say, wait, where? In, in Florida. Florida. Okay. And so, come on, stop doing this every two seconds. We're yeah, I agree. Killing ourselves. Uh, Virginia, 10% uh, reporting. Uh oh. Okay, hold on. Buckle up. Uh, 54, uh, 41. Trump. Yeah. Just put we. Yeah. No, no, no. 161,123. No. 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 It got quiet in here the minute we started reporting these real results. Yep. And uh, and if that continues. There is going to be a Paul in here. Um, oh, I don't even want. I mean, I. I think, where are you? I will cry. I will literally cry. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. I can't bear anything more. Uh, <laughs> up and down the middle of the country, all red. Uh, have we called all those out yet? Oh my no, God, we he haven't. built a wall. Okay, so, let me, uh, he built a wall. North Dakota, gone. South Dakota, gone. Nebraska, gone. Kansas, gone. All called uh, for Donald Trump. Hold on, yeah, this is so. serious. So, the calculation that the New York Times has had is a running prediction of winning the presidency. Last time I glanced at it, John, I don't know if you've been looking at that win presidency meter mm -hmm. below the states, no, below no. the map. Well, it was, oh, yes. it was at 80% an hour ago for Clinton. What is it now? 68%. Okay, uh, God damn it, I'm nervous. Okay, you should be nervous. It's not kidding around anymore. I'm not kidding. Okay, Here, so, oh, and ho ho hold, hold, hold. Ohio, gone. Okay, Virginia, God okay. damn it, it's 77% reporting. Still a five point lead for Trump. Um, Florida, 76 plus early voting reporting, 
49-48, holding steady for Trump. The lead uh, in, uh, in North Carolina has essentially completely evaporated. It's gone. It's tied. Ohio, gone. 49-47, Trump now leading. He's got a two-point lead with 30% reporting. Um, so, uh, you know what? Texas. And, and so that Texas is, is gone, gone. Texas is gone, gone. Okay. Texas. So any talk of like, hey, you're turning purple, blah, 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 blah. bullshit, gone. Motion. Sometimes I can barely hear you guys because in my head it's like, mm, <laughs> she's losing Virginia, needs Florida, mm, right? And um, God damn it, if we need Florida, are you shitting me? More bad news. Um, Ohio. Now he has built a six-point lead, 37% reporting, 51-45. Uh, North Carolina, he's now taking a 1% lead uh, with 36% plus early voting in. Wow. Uh, New Hampshire, 16% reporting, and the lead is down for Hillary Clinton down to three points. Okay, yeah, I don't see a fucking landslide here. I don't see it at all. New Hampshire has been uh, totally uh, oh. tied up. 100% time. Oh, 64, Jesus Christ. 200 votes. For Jesus Christ. It is fucking panic time. New Hampshire has flipped. He's now leading 48 47. Uh, so he's leading in Florida, Virginia, New Hampshire, North Carolina, and Ohio is now an eight point lead yeah, for Trump. They're going to call with, Ohio. With 42% reporting. So Ohio is gone and soon to be gone, gone. Tick, 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 tick. You're running out of votes to count. The New York Times forecast of who's likely to win. Uh, Donald Trump, now the favorite to win the presidency, oh! 51%. Uh, Jesus. Uh, this is the most haunting thing I have ever had, uh, we've ever d had uh, on the Young Turks. 14 years we, uh, we've we been on the air, and we saw, we thought John Kerry was gonna win in 2004. Uh, this is, this is, Trump, we are fucking talking about a madman, incompetent buffoon being the most powerful man on earth. He now has a better than 50% chance. I can't even believe how this is going so far. And this is why I don't obsess about the polls. Yes, they're relevant. Yes, they're interesting to you guys. Um, but I never look at the polls and think, oh, you know what? I'm Hillary has a comfortable lead according to and you know all of these polls put together and analyzed together. It doesn't mean anything. Okay? It's, it means something. It means something. <laughs> By the way, yeah. as we were talking, 54% chance that Donald Trump wins. They moved while we were talking. It just moved again. Maybe we should 55 stop talking. 55% chance Donald Trump is going to win right now. Stop saying the Donald. number. 61% chance of winning this for Donald Trump. This is insane. This is okay. insane. So, um uh, I've got a lot more ramifications, oh wow, for the Trump presidency. Uh, brace for impact. New York Times now saying the chance of a Trump presidency is 92%. Brace for impact, okay. Uh, Huffington Post, what happened to your fucking 98.4%? What happened to your, they said there was a 98.4%. And I keep picking on them, well, but they were not alone. Well, that chance. They were not alone. All the fucking idiots in Washington and New York Oh, <laughs> you're worried about nothing. You're worried about nothing. And now uh, this will be true rebel headquarters as Trump and his cronies begin their march against our freedoms. Look, we might literally be targeted. So remember uh, Alex Jones and Roger Stone bust onto our set uh, in, in the RNC and there were no consequences. They walked around. They didn't get arrested. They didn't get escorted out of the building and they laughed about it. And so now those guys will be in charge in a lot of ways on a national level. Talk about how historically pathetic the Democratic Party is. Did they let this guy, who has never had any success in business, he's had a track record of monumental failure. And they let him win the presidency and become the most powerful. The, the um, Democratic Party is gone. But I'm at war with the Democratic Party. This corporatist, weak, spineless, pathetic party that lets the imbeciles uh, on the Republican side walk all over this country, that handed power to a, a, a raging, not just bigot, but an incompetent. And I'm done with the losers. And I'm done with those donors. I don't give a fuck what the donors want. Okay, so the De DNC, you think we're coming for you? You're goddamn right we're coming for you. We're gonna pulverize the DNC. We're gonna rip it to shreds. Yes, we are at war now.
So even if some by some miracle here as we're past 11 o'clock Eastern in our live coverage, by some miracle Hillary Clinton wins, I don't care. We're still at war. We're still at war because you are this close to handing Trump ultimate power on this planet. Are you insane, you pathetic losers? <clears throat> New York Times now has it at 95% chance that Donald Trump is going to be president. At 11, 538 still had it at 50-50. It's now 37%. North Carolina has been called. It is, goes to Donald Trump. Uh, and Wisconsin and Michigan still leaning red. Brought to you by the fucking morons at the Democratic Party. I don't know what CNN is doing, but I bet if you turn into their live coverage now, they're all very hushed tones. Uh, okay, now reporting for Wisconsin is still uh, going to Donald Trump. Nobody's saying, hey, we're going to war. Nobody's saying, hey, oh my God, this is a monumental, grotesque failure of the Democratic Party that every single person at the DNC should be fired because they're not that animated. They don't care. Oh, I'm a news actor. What does it say in the prompter? Let me read the goddamn prompter. I'm a, I get paid for this. Am I still getting 10 million a year? Great. Let me read the goddamn prompter. So tick-tock, 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 okay? So, okay, hang on to your 68-year-old audience, okay? But the younger people have no interest in Wolf Blitzer reading anything to them. No interest at all. So keep on reading your stupid-ass script. We're gonna murder you, okay? We're gonna end you, we're gonna finish you. She can still win, yes, it's only a 5% chance now. But she can still win, but in order to do so, she has to win Wisconsin and Michigan which pre we previously thought was not an issue, but it most certainly is an issue now. Um, the big winner tonight seems to be marijuana, though. And that's a good thing, because we need something need to need use it. the play. Yeah. Is, yeah, exactly, that's what I'm gonna do as soon as I get home tonight. Look, you know what's still possible? My exact prediction. She wins Virginia, oh, Pennsylvania, shit. Colorado, and she pulls out New Hampshire, uh, and, and, and gets Wisconsin and Michigan, in which case, that would be the exact 272 um, that I predicted ahead of time. Fox yeah. has called Wisconsin for Trump. Really? Well, yeah. that's that. If, if that's Fox is right, Shore. first of all, this I'm not going for, okay? We, we're going to rebuild the Democratic Party to a point where they're going to be afraid of us. But there's still tens of millions of Americans who wanted nothing more than a guy who wasn't just endorsed by the KKK, but fucking earned that endorsement. He worked for that endorsement. And the sexism is so deep. The sexism is worse than the racism because you see black men being exterminated on the streets and you still let a black man in the White House. A lot of people are gonna get their asses whooped behind this. They think that they think these are the people of color from the 50s. You can't roll up on us like you used to roll up on us before. So the one thing I think Hillary Clinton had right in this election was her comment about the basket of deplorables. Of course, the one thing the press uh, heaped all sorts of criticism on, like how dare she. College uh, white men, uh, so even college white men, and this, to me, these are the guys who should be particularly ashamed. 54, 39, because they knew better. For mm -hmm. Trump. College educated white men. Because uh, the only thing Clinton wins is college white women, 51, 45. But even that. So what's staggering is non college white women. Some of the women who are non college educated. Non college white women. 62, 34. Absolutely. 28 oh. points for non Also, We're socialized to hate each other. Like, if you pay attention to the, the women, we are, what, the majority. We have the power. But the kind of hate that this woman has gotten just because she's a woman, and I'm not, ex I'm not trying to create excuses for her actions that have been questionable. I'm just saying simply on the fact that she is a woman, she is losing, and it's because she's a woman. Uh, uh, Clinton underperformed uh, underperformed Obama with blacks, that was expected, and Hispanics. Uh, oh my God, really? Clinton only won 88% of the black vote. Exit polls in 2012 had Obama at 93. She's at 65% among Latinos, and uh, Obama won 71%. Of his, um, only 65%. Only 65%. Look, everybody let down everybody today. Okay, let's <laughs> just keep it real on that. But at the same time, Latinos, what have you done? It, that it needed to be 95%. So for the Latinos who voted for Trump, well, when if he kicks out any of your family members, is this this is Clinton headquarters? That looks like it. Okay. Yeah, I can't wait for this fucking speech. Yeah, sorry I wait, let you I, down. Can I jump in for a second?
for a second on that. So I, I went outside to take a breather, have a beer, and now I'm back and I'm fired up, okay? Yes, we have the internet, but it takes a significant time uh, or a significant amount of time and resources to sit there and research all the issues on your own. Um, I have no respect for women who voted for Trump, okay? Yeah. I think so poorly of them, and the reason why is because, look, I don't think that you're a single issue voter, I just think you're dumb, okay? I think you're fucking dumb. I just, I'm losing my mind tonight because of how stupid the majority of the country is. As a Latina woman, I tell you, I've heard it over and over again in my family, there's no way a woman can run the country. Really? We run a household, we, we, we are raising a large percentage of the country as single mothers. We have to uh, budget money that we don't have. We have raise people that go get post-secondary educations. How is it that we cannot run a country? I don't respect women specifically who voted for a man who is going to be on trial for sexually assaulting a child. A pedophile. Yeah. Like, let, let's talk and about grown ass women who, because what did Dave Chappelle say? Well, I think that charge has got dropped. I mean, I think she's not going to pursue it. Uh, I'm, I'm sure she's saying. not. Oh, but what no, I'm he's saying. She's not going on trial for that. Not now. <sighs> yeah. Another thing we're done with today is the era of politeness. Absolutely. Oh. So, Absolutely. So, progressives. Don't listen to the Democratic Party who tell you to new yourself and be fucking polite, okay? No, no. no. It, it progressives are, we're not going to be polite anymore. You know what we're going to do? Something that the DNC has cock blocked this entire fucking time? We're going to fight back. The era of politeness for the progressives is over. When it comes to poor white people, I'm going to quote my friend Matt Kazam and say, look, I got my own problem. Yeah. You know, I can't be, I mean, this is, they're, they're the group Can you that, think about me for one minute? No, you're on your own. <laughs> they, um, they are the people who I've said continuously, they get what they deserve. Hey, look, man, you, you got to give us power, man, because without money, we don't have power. Let's just keep it real. So you, 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 let, let's go on a barn burner tour through, through the red states, man. Let's go talk to them. Let's wake them up. Hey, hey, uh, and in whatever language they uh, understand, and you want to, you want to get in the beginning, want to be a, be a little rough uh, verbally, right? And and get them a little angry. They'll, they'll show up to a rally. They'll show up, right? And the brakes are off now. Okay. So like, hey, you know, I, before I'm worried about asking you guys for to become members and get independent media. Then I'm not worried about it at all anymore. You got to join. If you don't join, how can we fight back? Back. Founders were slave owners who died when they were 40. Like they not they weren't so facetious. they weren't such geniuses. <laughs> and in four years, <laughs> when we uh, uh, hopefully beat her with uh, beat him with I don't know who, maybe Hillary Clinton could run again. Um, the uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's her turn. It's her turn. <laughs> um, the, uh, <laughs> and so. Um, Dude, I actually lost a train of thought for the first time in 12 hours. You're not going you to be, you're not be polite, and uh, Democrats are uh, weak. <laughs> <laughs> Does that help? Not every Trump supporter is a racist, but every racist is a Trump supporter. That's right. So here's the ones that are left undecided. Okay, right now, as we stand in the Electoral College, it's 244 to Trump and 215 to Hillary Clinton. So the ones that are left are New Hampshire, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Arizona. So out of those five, she has to win four, okay? We broke the New York Times needle, it's just stuck at 95%. I think they felt embarrassed to go to 99% before they call it. Um, it's not uh, gonna happen. Look, I gotta say it, I, I think that we're, at the Young Turks, on, a, on nights like this, on election nights, we're pretty damn good at this. And there's, there's, two, there's two components, there's two components to the fight back. There's the media, that's us, okay? So who is it gonna be, BuzzFeed? Okay, no offense, BuzzFeed. But you go to the play fun games with watermelons, okay? It's not going to be them. They did some okay. good investigative journalism. Is it, it, <laughs> yeah, they okay. actually have. Okay, bless their hearts. That, that's, a, that's cute. That's cute. They're, they're flipping okay. their side of seven. That's super cute. Side. That's super cute. And to the motherfuckers on Twitter fucking me, with me right now, I just want you to know, I don't give a fuck. I'm ready for the revolution. <laughs> <laughs> you got me fucked up. I'm not that bitch. What right wingers love to talk about. Take personal responsibility. No, here's the thing. Um, affirmative action is not the reason why you failed in life. Uh, uh, the reason why you failed in life is because you fucking suck.
okay? Because yeah. you're a loser. <laughs> white folks think, oh my God, if we just get rid of white folks. And whenever I say white folks in this conference, you know I mean white folks, right? One corner of this paper is uh, the Dakota Pipeline, the other one is Keystone, this one is TPP, <laughs> and this one is your corporate tax cuts. Okay? <laughs> so, yeah, good luck with that shit, okay? Uh, we're not doing that. Okay, here's the list of corporate donors. Okay, this is what the Democratic Party do is going to do with corporate donors from now. Now she's losing Pennsylvania, and it's 98% reporting, and he's got a 0.8% lead. Oh. So, John, uh, go ahead. Is uh, updates? What is, yeah, uh, Pennsylvania was called for Donald Trump. It's over. Okay, it's over. Uh, so uh, there you go, Donald Trump, next president of the United States of America. She's up in New Hampshire. <laughs> uh, have they called? Have the national organizations called the I election? I haven't seen it. I mean, he Not won yet. Pennsylvania. What the fuck are you guys waiting for? It's over. It's uh, Alaska could swing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's over. Okay. Um, so uh, Trump's empty podium is back. Well, now well deserved. That's the empty podium of the president elect. This is the country we live in. Uh, I, I think that uh, we can now declare uh, Hillary Clinton the worst candidate uh, in American history. Um, the worst politician. Perhaps. In our lifetime. It, certainly in our lifetime. I, I don't know how, you know, uh, the guys from back in the day, Tippica New and Tyler too were. But uh, so uh, she lost to a guy named Barack Hussein Obama. He couldn't beat Donald Trump. Jesus Christ. With everybody on her side, oh. with everybody trying to help her. Frickin' Republicans were coming out of the woodwork to try to help her. Even Jay Z tried to help Jay -Z, her. Jay Z, <laughs> Beyonce. For Bruce Springsteen, the Beehive. Everybody, every freaking television comedian, everybody was on her side. Even guys like Michael Moore, I Robert mean, De Niro. Everybody, and she still lost to this guy. What does that tell you? Donald Trump is president of the United States. Uh, we all want to. Well, no, that's not. Not for filming <laughs> like a sci-fi movie or something. It kind of feels like Machate. You remember Machate over the top, oh, you know, yeah. purposely over the top. It's like a grind, yeah. grindhouse movie. Grindhouse. Yeah. 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 And so, uh, but uh, but it's real. It's our lives now. Uh, welcome to Idiocracy. Oh, and, early. Yeah. Uh, before we go to Jordan, I just want to introduce two uh, new uh, additions here. Well, Steve O's coming back from a million hours ago, and obviously uh, the Flying Squirrel. Or just what? Like, why? 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 Well, because I'm the head strategist from the Clinton campaign, and I just wanted to issue my <laughs> heartfelt apologies for everything I did. John Podesta said everybody should go home and get some sleep because she is not done yet. Clinton will not speak tonight, CNN reports. Several states are oh. too close to call. Except she will not speak tonight. Wow. She had no message. No message. No what was her message? What was her Please. message? Hold As on. And even her own campaign statement. I'm with her. What does that even mean? You know, he won like 35% of the Latino vote. Yes. That's unbelievable he to did. me. Okay. Uh, yeah, but oh, yeah. Like he won 45% of the women vote. You know, after she won the nomination, I, I know for me personally, as a progressive, I wanted so desperately for him not to win that I started playing mind games on myself as well. Maybe she can win, maybe she can beat him. The alt-right falls under that category. These are the racists who don't want to take personal responsibility they're for their failures for in Democrat. life. And they're, they're not going to vote for Democrats, you're right. But what I'm trying to say is, Hillary not winning is not due to one reason. There are many different reasons. I, 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 I but I actually think it is. So I, look, again, I'm going to go over just, the top here. Then look, why look, did you look, send look. Jordan to do all those interviews? No, no, and no. why did we play them no, on so Let me explain. Because no, no, they're guys, guys, hilarious. Guys, that we will have the privilege to serve as your Vice President of the United States of America. Fuck this guy. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. He pulls off his skin and looks, he's like the he red skull from Captain America 1. Claim there was no link between smoking and lung cancer until like a decade There's two ago. women on stage right there. I who come are to this That's moment. Insane. He's anthropomorphized lung cancer. I come cancers. to this moment deeply humbled. No, he doesn't. So let me say, it is my high honor 
and distinct privilege to introduce to you the President-elect of the United States of America, Donald Trump. Okay, so did you? I can't believe Melania is our first lady. I want to throw I, up. Uh, yeah. I want to throw up. Yeah. Uh, so if you'd said uh, election night, 2016, the president-elect comes down. It's Donald Trump. Two years ago, this everyone morning. would have laughed their ass off. Do you, do you remember? <laughs> you remember <when laughs> Donald Trump. Don't be. What was his vice president? Dennis Rodman. <laughs> you remember right. when Ellison uh -huh. brought it up on? Uh, uh, George Snuffle up against his show and yeah. everybody laughed at him. Yep. It's uh he's gonna be in the history books. Like someone pointed out, uh, kids are gonna be taught about him in elementary school. Oh, listen yeah, okay. and everything he does. Let's pull it back up. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Sorry to keep you waiting. Complicated business. Complicated. <laughs> 